here we are. It's late spring, uh, uh, late winter, just about spring, in the Lachlan Valley of New South Wales. And here's Aboriginal superfood uh, ruby salt bush, covered in rubies. And I mean, well, what other fruits are out at this time of year, late winter, apart from maybe what? Would loquats no? Would loquats be out yet? I don't know. I think they're probably the first fruits to be out, aren't they? Full of vitamins and antioxidants. Let's try one. Mmm, it's nice and uh, moist. Mmm. Tasty. All free. The good thing about ruby salt bush is that, apart from this long, uh, the long, uh, long period of burying, is that they grow under trees. They'll grow under gum trees. Where nothing else is growing under a tree, you'll find these ruby salt bush growing. And they grow well under trees. They do. In places that other shrubs would find inhospitable. So lovely. And all free. Look at that. Look at them all. All those berries. Aren't they very good? Very, very good. And the leaves are edible too. Very nice green actually. I have tried them and they're very nice. I should learn to do more things with those green leaves. They're nice as a salad vegetable or as a cooked vegetable. Let me taste some. Nice refreshing. Oh, they've got that salty taste. They're quite nice. You don't have to add salt, do you? You don't. The fruits aren't salty like that, <laughs> like that but the leaves are. Oh, there's a little bit of salt in the fruit. Let me try. Mm, not as much salt as in the leaves. Learn to recognize these because you can live on them. They're a fruit and vegetable in the one bush, aren't they? So here's a unique Australian dessert. It's ice cream, plain vanilla ice cream. If you're a vegan, you can always have some, what, almond milk ice cream or something. These are Australia's first peoples, uh, well, they were. They were these berries were eaten by Australia's first people for tens of thousands of years, weren't they? And I'm having them on ice cream, this superfood. Isn't it lovely? A unique dessert, an Australian dessert. Whoops. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Oh, it's lovely. It's even a little bit crunchy in a way, like nuts when you have them fresh. You could stew them, of course. There's a well-known ruby salt bush sorbet recipe from Alice Springs, but I'm not from Alice Springs, am I? I'm from here. Mmm. Ruby salt bush. Australian bush tucker. Mmm. See ya.